African cities are growing very fast. Urbanization has outpaced our efforts to provide decent infrastructure. In my city, we struggle to get water and good sanitation. In and around African cities, water resources are heavily polluted by domestic wastewater. It is hard for us farmers in and around the city to find clean water for irrigation. Urban and peri-urban farms produce up to 90% of the perishable vegetables the city needs. In Accra, for example, 250,000 people benefit every day from food produced in irrigated urban agriculture. Farming in the city allows me to feed my family and send my kids to school. Most of us vegetable sellers are women. We can earn more than our husbands. But these crops are contaminated by polluted water. Worldwide, millions of hectares are irrigated with raw or diluted wastewater. We want to reduce the problem, but our sewage networks are small, and the few treatment plants we have are broken down. How to preserve the benefits of irrigated urban agriculture without putting consumers at risk? If the authorities could give us land with better and affordable water, we will go for it. Simple irrigation practices can reduce significantly crop contamination. With more tenure security, I would invest in water treatment methods. Also, hygiene is very important. More toilets in our market would help us to keep the vegetables clean. People have to become aware of their responsibility. <laughs> to protect my kids' health, I use vinegar to wash the vegetables we eat uncooked. This kills the germs. When cities cannot provide safe irrigation water, there are still sound options to benefit from urban agriculture. And to reduce the health risk for us consumers. Through safer irrigation practices. And good vegetable cleaning in our kitchens and street restaurants. Together we can manage the risks.